Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do DIY blends. Yan, dumapit tayo ng kaunti. Mm. What's different about this vlog is that remember how you would usually see 5ml and 10ml roller bottles na ginagawa for do-it-yourself um, roller blends? I, <laughs> kala mo nagpapausa, I will be using 3ml roller bottles instead. Ayan. And another thing that's new, well at least uh, on my channel would be um, my last video, I um, showed you how this label maker works. So I used it on, I used it already. Ito sa mga 3ml roller bottles na to. I will be sharing a quick review on how well these label, uh, these labels work on these bottles. Aha! Uh -huh. So the reason why I chose 3ml roller bottles is Madami kasi ang pagbibigyan ng mga kaibigan. So, Aww. I wanna make sure that the oils that I have would be enough to share for everyone din. So, and also, hindi ko din naman sure kung, kung if they're really gonna be using it, kung mahihiyang ba sila o hindi, ganun. So, naisip ko, sayang naman. Before we go ahead and proceed to the, the recipes, uh, a quick um, review about um, this label maker and using it on this kind of roller bottle. The stickers work okay, kaso I find that, uh, I'm not sure if it's just because uh, this is a, a frosted uh, roller, uh, a, a frosted version of a roller bottle, pero parang it doesn't stick well at first. So what I did, uh, as a workaround, I heated uh, by using a hair dryer. So, yun. And after doing that, I find that the stickers stick better. Since na tagalan ako sa pagantay ng aking February ER package, ito na ang mga pinagagawa ko. So, prenep ko na ang mga roller bottles na gagamitin ko for this video. I will be making several blends today. So before we start, let me just remind everyone of the extremely important dilution chart that we have to follow so we can avoid any um, sensitivity um, issues. Now this chart shows this chart shows how many drops you should use per 5 ml and also 10 ml. But it doesn't really show how much how many drops you should use for 3 ml bottles. That is why I took the liberty in doing <laughs> this quick cap computation. So, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm the only one who does this. So, 6 drops of your essential oils and then the rest would be your carrier oil. The reminder then is whenever you would give um, essential oils to any of your friends, always ask them to do a patch test to know kung meron silang sensitivity um, towards these oils. Um, they can do that. Kahit yung mga roller, although ang sensitivity to essential oils na diluted naman is uh, the chances are quite slim, but just to be sure, have them um, uh, test it on their forearm, ganyan. and if after a couple of minutes, 15 minutes, ganyan, they would see any reaction, namumula or nangangate, then they are probably allergic to it. So, just to be on the safe side. So, the first blend we will be making would be your happy blend. My references would be yung mga recipes na napupulot ko sa Facebook group group namin sa Hush Angels and also sa Pinterest and I also
also have oil plus glass na book. So I mentioned the um, number of drops per 3 ml. Uh, number of drops ng essential oils per 3 ml would be 6 drops. So the recipe for a happy blend would be lemon, peppermint, and lavender. So since that long essential oils, stick to 2 drops, which would make up 6. I, I will let this simmer guys for about 24 hours and then saka ko siya lalagyan ng carrier oil and I will be using V6 sa carrier oil niya alright our next blend is for immunity and the recipe for that is um, thieves, frankincense, and lemon. So again, stick to two drops. Here you go. Next recipe is for vertigo. Now, kung sa PSK lang naman ang gagamitin, ang vertigo blend ng karamihan would be peppermint, lavender, and frankincense. That would be enough. Pero for some, they find it more effective kapag you also add ginger. So ito ang isang oil that I will use outside of PSK or premium starter kit. Well, since there's really no other way, um, I'm gonna add two drops of each Lavender, peppermint, frankincense, and ginger. So instead of six drops, magiging eight drops siya. Ginger. Alam na natin lahat ang amoy nito. Tindola! Sarap. Let's see. Tindolang tindola. But, apparently, this helps in vertigo attacks. So, we will add it. Hindi masyara mo siya amin ng ginger. If it helps vertigo, so be it. And next one, I will be doing another um, sleep blend. Pero this time, it will include something new. Um, it will include cedar wood. I've been hearing uh, good things about cedar wood when it comes to promoting good sleep or a deep sleep. Sabi nila, combine it with your usual sleep blend like lavender, stress away, copaiba, and then add cedar wood. Talagang knockout blend daw. So, let's try it. So now, I'm gonna update my current sleep blend. I will use cedar wood, lavender, copaiba, and stress away. So, tig to 2 drops na rin lang sila. So, bali 8 drops lahat lahat. New knockout sleep blend. So, inuntokan ko sa last blend na ginawa ko. Kaya, ito nang patuloy pa siya a few days later. So, on to the next blend. Uh, our next blend will be Flemish. I know that I already have an existing recipe for this, pero... I have an additional oil uh, that I got for uh, aside um, that is outside of the PSK, which is tea tree oil. Yeah. So um, it is said that this is also very um, effective sa mga pimples, breakouts, ganyan. So I will be including this sa uh, current blemish recipe natin. Uh, so the updated recipe will be. One drop of frankincense, one drop copaiba, two drops ng lavender, and then two drops ng tea tree oil. So that makes up ang yung six drops pa rin in yung 3 ml roller bottle. And another thing to take note would be yung carrier oil that I will be using for the blemish blend would be yung jojoba oil. So this is um this is the carrier oil na best um for the face.
base daw. So, either jojoba, rosehip oil, sunflower oil, almond oil. Mm, ito yung best sa skin. So, I chose jojoba oil. Ayan. Fresh na fresh pa siya. Galing kay Dian. Thank you, sis. Sis. Pamilihan mm. natin. Ano ko kaya ang tea tree oil? I wonder... Updated blemish blend. Blemish blend. Okay, our next um, blend will be for allergies. Well, ito yung famous na LLPFC or lavender, lemon, peppermint, frankincense, and kopaiba. So, since LLPFC, since lima lang siya, well, we could just settle with five, uh, one drop of each. Tapos, the rest. Carrier oil. Here you go for allergies, rhinitis. Next blend is also known as the Chill Blend. I name I named it Chillax. Ayan. Uh, this helps in this kind of this blend helps in relieving any anxiousness or if you're feeling overwhelmed um, and this blend is made up of lavender and frankincense so frankincense is a grounding kind of oil and lavender helps you relax and be calm so we're gonna do three drops of each next blend would be for headaches so recipe is two drops panaway one drop lavender one drop frankincense and one drop kobaiba all right there you go um i'm not sure if i'm the only person who has ever tried um creating blends in 3 ml roller bottles but if you are thinking about um, doing the same thing then at least now, hopefully the recipes that I gave, uh, hopefully the recipes that you have, hopefully the recipes I've mentioned uh, would be helpful. I hope that you like this video and if you do, please like and feel free to like it and share or subscribe if you want to and see you on the next video.